Hi, my name is Arnab Basu and I'm the product manager for Brocade's 1000 series Converge Network Adapters. And today I want to take the opportunity of explaining to you some of the enhancements that Ethernet needed to be able to carry storage traffic. You must have heard the term Converge Enhanced Ethernet. I, I want to explain to you a few of the standards that go into the enhanced part of that Ethernet. The first standard that I want to talk to you is about is priority based flow control mechanism. Traditional Ethernet already had the pause functionality, which is the 802.3x standard, where uh, ports, Ethernet ports, had the ability to pause or back pressure downstream or upstream ports. But with that functionality, the entire pipe was, was stopped or back pressured. When you carry converged traffic where different traffic types might be, uh, might be put on the same uh, Ethernet pipe, you want the ability to stop some maybe low priority traffic types and allow some high priority traffic types. Or you basically you want to be able to selectively uh, pause or stop some of the traffic types that get put on the converged pipe. PFC allows you to do that. Consider uh, consider uh, in, a, in a 10 gigabit CE environment where you have HTTP traffic, voice over IP traffic, IPC, as well as FCOE traffic that go on uh, go on to the same Ethernet, uh, 10 gigabit Ethernet pipe. You may want to be able to pause the HTTP traffic while allowing the FCOE traffic. Brocade CNAs implement PFC. They also implement ETS which is Enhanced Transmission Selection Protocol, which is the ability to take your 10 gigabit CEE pipe and carve out the bandwidth into different traffic types or priority types. Again, assume that uh, you could be having, you could be having an environment where you are using 8 gigabit FC HBAs and 1 gigabit Ethernet uh, ports on the same server. When, when you put both these traffic types on the same 10 gigabit pipe, you may want to carve out the 10 gigabit pipe's bandwidth accordingly. So if, for instance, in this case, you may have LAN traffic, SAN FC traffic, or FCOE traffic, and IPC traffic. You may want to carve out the LAN traffic to be 10% of the 10 gigabit pipe, SAN traffic to be 80% of the 10 gigabit pipe, and IPC to be another 10%. And ETS allows you to do that by, by implementing a scheduling algorithm that carves out the outgoing bandwidth in those ratios. Finally, I want to talk to you about data center bridging exchange protocol or DCBX, which is the protocol that allows different elements in a converged environment or in a converged infrastructure to uh, communicate negotiate and agree upon the parameters that, that are involved with these standards. For instance, <clears throat> what are the priority types that you have in your PFC? How are you going to carve out the bandwidth for your ETS? What VLANs are you going to run for your storage traffic versus your rest of the traffic? These are the parameters that need to be exchanged and agreed upon between elements in a converged environment. Brocade CNAs implement all these standards and work seamlessly with both Brocade fabrics and other standard, uh, other standard uh, vendors' uh, fabrics. In fact, Brocade adapters, Brocade CNAs implement what's called a willing mode, where the, the CNA negotiates the parameters using DCBX with the adjoining switch seamlessly and with zero configuration. As soon as you touch, as soon as you connect the CNA to the switch and boot these things up, they are able to negotiate without any touch from the admin. In summary, uh, the Brocade CNA implements all the standards allowing the user to converge their infrastructure, their storage and their LAN infrastructure onto a single pipe and, and get the benefits of console server I.O. consolidation. Mm -hmm.